Managing your products and inventory is a huge part of your Vend setup. Let's take a look at how products are created in Vend. To get started, click Products, then Products on the left-hand navigation. On this page, you can add individual products, import a product list via CSV, and also export your existing product list out to CSV. You can also filter your product list through a range of different values. These can be set up when you create each product. Each created product found in the list can either be viewed, edited, or deactivated. Let's add a product ourselves by clicking the Add Product button. We're going to create and add a new range of jackets to our store. First, we can name the product. This will automatically populate the product handle for you. This is used as a unique identifier of the product. We can add images to our product on the right-hand side. We'll add a description to our product, so anything that will help your customers and employees will be valuable in this field. Scrolling down, we can now categorize our product. Product tags is a low-level categorization. In this case, I would like to add the materials used. This jacket is made of Gore-Tex, so I'll add that as a tag. Product type is a high-level categorization of our product, so let's add it to the clothing product type. We can select from our current list of brands or add a new one if we need. We also have the option to add a supplier as well, if required. If you have a specific supplier you're ordering from, the supplier code can be added to the product too. The account code and purchasing code fields are there for you if you are integrating with an accounting solution such as Xero and you would like the specific product to override the default mapping set for your store. We have now reached our pricing. We have purchased this jacket for $45 per unit, so that is our supply price. After setting the supply price, we can adjust the markup, change the tax applied to the product, And finally, edit the final retail price, which will adjust every other field accordingly. We can see the loyalty option has it set to a certain value based on our store-wide earning ratio. I'm going to change this to $2 for this product as an incentive to sell more from the get-go. There are two types of products, standard and composite. We have the option here to change the stock keeping unit or SKU, if required. This product is a standard product, but it will come in different sizes and colors, so let's select that it contains variants. After selecting the Variants button, we can add our options at the bottom. Our first option will be for the color, and our second will be size. I can add our colors by typing each option in and separating them with a comma. So let's add red, blue, gray, and black. Each color comes in small, medium, large, and extra large sizing. So let's add them below. With our variants sorted, we can scroll down and see each individual SKU that has been created. We can also see the supplier code, our custom loyalty amount, and the breakdown of price. Selecting an individual product shows you the breakdown of inventory, as well as tax. We're not going to edit the initial stock levels, as we'll cover how that works in a more advanced session later. What we can do, though, is set our reorder points and amounts. These will allow you to keep on top of your stock quantities and manage your ordering processes easier. Once you have completed this for all of your SKUs, click Add Product to save the page. Now it's time to add a composite product to our store. 
These are products that are made up of the quantities of other products that we stock. I'd like to create a new product that is made up of the inventory of our sunglasses and one of our cap variants. To get started, we'll click Add Product again. I'll name this bundle and fill out all of the relevant details as we did earlier with our variant products. Once completed, scroll down and select Composite. This opens up a field for us to create our bundle of products. I'll search for my sunglasses, select the quantity that should be sold with each purchase of this composite item, and click Add. I'll do the same with my cap and click Add Product. We can now see that our composite product has been created. The composite product's inventory levels are based on the product which has the lowest amount left in stock.